The project was envisioned about 2012. The board decided to go down the path of the fundraising in 2014. Uh, and in 2018, we, um, we broke ground on a $36 million um, project uh, to renovate and expand uh, the Lyric Theater, and it became the Kirk Family YMCA. We are in the historic lobby of the uh, former Lyric Theater. On this first level, it's really the aquatics level. So you have two pools. You've got uh, a traditional lap pool um, for lap swimmers. There's four lanes. It's 25 uh, yards long, and then a warm water pool uh, that allows uh, you know, a ramp into the water, swim lessons, it's a little bit warmer. There are two group exercise rooms, multi-purpose rooms. There's screens and projectors in this room. You can use it as a training room, you can use it as a meeting room, you can use it as a group exercise room. And this is the wellness level, the next floor up is the community level. Um, but you've got over you know, 75 pieces of cardiovascular equipment, you've got you know, 50 pieces of strength training equipment, you've got the gymnasium in the middle, you've got a functional training room on this level. This entire third floor is based upon you know, the health and wellness components. Uh, These are meeting rooms. Right now they're, they're camp rooms for community use, for why use. So the four core values of the why are caring, honesty, respect, and responsibility and each one of these rooms has its name. This will be our flagship wide. This will be a full facility, offer all programs and services that we can support and that the community will support with that. It will have the traditional swim lessons. It will have the traditional fitness programs, but we'll also reach out for community support and what can the Y be involved in the downtown community to help drive, whether it's volunteerism, uh, whether it's, again, special needs programs, whether it's, um, you know, like we did and made the shift and pivot to do in a summer camp this summer because we had a facility that, you know, parents need to drop their kids off. You know, the growth, again, not only with the 100,000 people working down here, there's that 30,000 plus that's supposed to grow to 40,000 in the next, you know, 10 years that are living and, and, and playing downtown that there's the Y's here to support that as well. Well, what my hope is, is that it does bring the community together. The Y is a diverse and inclusive organization. Uh, we expect that people come from all avenues to be a part of this. And whether it's you're coming here to improve your health or to get connected to any youth activities or to bring your kids uh, or just to volunteer. You know, our goal uh, is to, to be inclusive and help make people's lives better.